hello guys and welcome back again to my channel today i'm going to teach you how to set up a great working facebook engagement ads campaign uh, in the facebook ads manager i firmly believe that my video tutorials are helping you in your social media marketing so today we're going to discuss few important things about facebook engagement ads objective the first one is what are the Facebook engagement ads? We will discuss the Facebook engagement ads in detail. The second thing is, how do we set up a great Facebook engagement ad campaign in the Facebook ads manager? And the third thing, which is the very important for you to understand, that does it really worth running the Facebook engagement ads? Or in other words, can we really get uh, the sales or the conversion using the Facebook engagement objective? So we will discuss each one stepwise. So let's get started. But before this, if you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you get notified instantly for every new tutorial if you want to be a superstar social media marketer. So let's take the first question. What are the Facebook engagement ads? So let's see what Facebook says about the Facebook engagement objective. Well, Facebook says the engagement objective is specially designed to get more people to see and engage with your Facebook post or page. With engagement as your objective, you can create ads that boost your posts like the post engagement, promote your page, getting page likes, get people to claim an offer on your page, uh, like offer claims, raise attendance at an event on your page, uh, which is the event responses. And let's see what platforms support the engagement objective. Well, there are three platforms. The first one is the Facebook. The second one is the Instagram and the third one is the audience network. And now let's see which eight formats can you use uh, using the Facebook engagement objective. So there are basically three uh, eight formats that you can use uh, while doing the Facebook engagement ads. The first one is the photo. The second one is the video and the third one is the slideshow. And now let's take a look at a note uh, by Facebook as well. Well, Facebook says some ad formats may not be available for selection uh, depending on the type of ad you create. For example, if you choose to promote your page uh, in the engagement objective, you can only create a photo, video, a slideshow ad. So I hope you have got the point that uh, using the Facebook engagement ads you're gonna get all these likes shares comments like the social proof on your post if you set up the facebook engagement ad campaign for the page likes you're gonna get the page likes and if you set up the facebook engagement ads for the event responses you're gonna get uh, more and more people to attend your uh, event online or offline so now let's see how you can set up a great um, working Facebook engagement aid in the Facebook Ads Manager. So today we will set up uh, this campaign uh, to get more and more likes on our uh, digital marketing agency Facebook page. So let's get in. So guys, I'm here in my Facebook Ads Manager. Uh, when you click on this green create button, you're gonna see a pop-up And this is the pop-up where you select the your campaign objective as we are discussing uh, we are learning the Facebook engagement objective so we're gonna click on the engagement objective and if you scroll down uh, you're gonna see few different things uh, the first one is the post engagement the page likes the event responses so we will go with the page likes as we want more likes on our uh, Facebook page so once you have selected uh, your engagement type then you're going to click on continue so our campaign has 
uh, loaded now and now I'm gonna give it a name uh, is first we will need to do the campaign level settings and then the asset level settings and then the aid level settings uh, this is how uh, a campaign is structured in the Facebook ads manager so I'm to give it a name so we're done with the campaign name then we see the special aid category uh, which is a little bit advanced we will discuss this in later and then the campaign details the buying type is the auction the campaign objective uh, is of course the page likes if you click on show more option you will see the spending limit which is optional I'm not going to give it uh, a limitation in terms of uh, budget spending but you will have to see this for your own uh, for yourself and then we see the a b testing this is also a little bit advanced and i will have a separate uh, tutorial for this a b testing and then we see the campaign budget optimization this is simple uh, if you have multiple eight sets uh, in a campaign then you can actually switch on this campaign budget optimization and after that what facebook does uh, is to provide the more budget to uh, to those assets uh, who perform uh, better than others and that is simple so we are done with the campaign level uh, settings and now we're gonna click on next to uh, enter in the asset level settings so this is the place uh, where you can actually select your page your audience uh, your ad scheduling and the budget uh, and other things as well so first we're going to give it a name uh, basically I give it a name uh, that is descriptive uh, you can provide your own name uh, whatever you want to give it so I will small business owners so then we select the page under the page tape and then uh, we give it a budget actually there are two kinds of budget you can set up the first one is the daily budget and the second one is the lifetime budget so if you set a lifetime budget then you will for example if you uh, set up a 1000 uh, rupees lifetime then Facebook will spend lifetime budget uh, on this campaign uh, but gen uh, generally I go with the daily budget uh, just uh, to, to play around with budget uh, seeing at the results that we get from a campaign so I will change the budget to $1,000 $1,000 rupees I will just decrease it to 500 rupees and then we see the scheduling this is the place where you can actually uh, set the start date and also give it an end date uh, apart from this you can I click on show more option to see the edge doing so this is for now um, unclickable but if you switch to the uh, lifetime budget you can see uh, you can then see uh, and edit this scheduling so then as you can see you can uh, provide or you can run your aids uh, on special specific times of the day or night so for now I will I'm just going to remove this so then we see the audience this is the place where uh, you can actually set up your audience you can actually uh, select out of your local audiences the custom audiences and to use a saved audience I had I don't have any local like or custom audiences for this ad campaign so uh, I'm going to set up my audience uh, manually the location is Pakistan the age is uh, from 18 to 65 I will leave it as it is and the gender is uh, I will leave it as it is and this is the detail targeting this is the place where you can actually select different demographics interest or behaviors so I'm going to select the business honors there you see the small business owners and this is my target audience uh, remember I am selecting the audiences over here randomly uh, but you should uh, do a proper audience research when setting up your uh, ad campaign then you can actually exclude people or narrow down this audience 
you can actually click on this uh, box to reach uh, people beyond this targeting where Facebook uh, considers they might uh, they might convert so if you click on show more option you will see the connection leave it as it is you can actually save this audience as well then we come to the placement there are two placements the first one is the automatic placement which is recommended by Facebook and the second one is the manual placement so if you click on manual placement then you will see other placement like the Facebook the Instagram the audience network etc so as this is a page like uh, oriented at campaign I will go to the automatic placement so then we see the optimization for a delivery uh, which has been selected as the page likes by Facebook and you cannot actually edit this also you can provide it a cost control so for example this is the amount you are willing to pay per like to Facebook so this is optional I'm not going uh, to give it a, a cost control so we're done with the uh, ad set level settings so this is the you can actually edit this when you get charged for impression or page likes I think you cannot select the page likes over here uh, the impression is the only option you have to go with so we're done with the ad set level settings we have selected the uh, the placement the audience the budget uh, I will change the start date to today so I'm now going to click on next to set up my aids so first of all I am going to give it a name uh, and this is the creative area where you can actually provide your own images or videos so I am going to use the stock photos for this ad campaign So in the primary text box, you can actually provide your ad copy. Uh, it's the internet marketing services for now. I will leave it as it is. Uh, but you can actually uh, provide your own uh, attractive and engaging ad copy. You can actually add another copy as well. And then we're almost done with the uh, ad uh, setup so for now we have selected the image aid you can actually uh, add your videos as well so now the only thing left is to publish this ad campaign so that's how simply you can set up a great working facebook engagement uh, ads campaign in your facebook ads manager to get more and more likes uh, on your facebook page and now let's discuss the last but not the least and very important question that is does it worth running the Facebook engagement ads or in other words can we really get uh, the conversion or sales uh, using the Facebook engagement objective well the short answer is that uh, we are unfortunately unable uh, to get uh, the conversion or the sales directly using the Facebook engagement objective it is because uh, Facebook has designed these different categories for uh, different kind of people so for example if you want to get more and more people visit your store or your website then you're going to use the Facebook traffic objective and Facebook has specialized that category for those kind of people who are more likely uh, to visit your website and if you want to get more and more people to engage with your business with your posts uh, with your videos or with your content on uh, Facebook or Instagram then you're gonna use the uh, consideration or in other words the Facebook engagement is objective and Facebook has specialized this category for those kind of people who are more likely uh, to engage to like to share or do comment on the pause but if you want to get more and more people to your website and want to sell them uh, your products or your services then you're definitely going to use the Facebook consideration or the Facebook sorry the Facebook the conversion objective uh, so then how do we get the conversion using the Facebook engagement objective well we are unable to get sales 
directly from the Facebook engagement objective, what you can do is to set up a remarketing ad campaign using the uh, the Facebook uh, conversion objective just to retarget those people who have been engaged uh, with your Facebook business page, uh, with your Instagram page, with your videos or with your website. So this way uh, you can get uh, purchases or you can uh, get these people converted using the retargeting ads. So I hope you have got the plan. Uh, you cannot get uh, sales or conversion directly from the Facebook engagement ad. Uh, but sure, when you set up a retargeting uh, ad campaign using the conversion objective to retarget uh, these people who have been engaged with your business uh, in the engagement objective ad campaign, um, this way you will be able to uh, sell your products to these people. So I hope this has been helpful for you and please um, let me know if you have got any question in the comment section. I will be more than happy uh, to be answering uh, your question in the comment section. And if you are new to this channel, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon and give it a thumbs up uh, which really helps me um, and it really keeps me appreciated. So bye for now and thanks for watching.